was unexpected. So what's good, y'all? It's your boy Tiger back in the field. Of course, out on two. I'm uh, testing out another setup for my camera. And I think this is gonna be a winner. I got rid of my uh, separate audio recorder. I'm actually plugged directly into my uh, camera again. I'll uh, probably do some pictures and, and a whole nother post talking about that setup and the craziness. But basically what it came down to is I found a new harness, uh, a new uh, way to mount my camera. That was really nice because I got to adjust the angle of it. But unfortunately it was blocking the lower portion uh, where I had access to all my plugs and stuff on the bottom of the camera. So I had to swap a couple things out, play around with it a little bit. And now I got, I think I got the best of, you know, all the setups. Um, I have access to the bottom. I can still adjust the angles. I didn't have to like drill or break or anything, which is also nice. Uh, I usually don't like, you know, modifying the setup too much, uh, especially when it comes to like this particular camera. Uh, the frame that I'm using is very, it has a lot of cavities and openings to it. So anything I would snap or break off would really just weaken the frame even more. But uh, I really love the way it's set up right now. The only problem I have with it is it sticks out a little bit further off the side of my helmet than maybe I'm used to. So I'll, it'll take some tweaking and adjusting, but I'm in a good place right now, man. It, it looks like it's gonna turn out pretty good. We'll, we'll see when uh, I go ahead and throw this in post and start editing around with it. But um, yeah, man, back out on the road, new setup, you know, about to go head out and uh, visit one of my homeboys, my, my boy Clint, over here at Twisted Motors, go say hey to him, see what's popping over there. Uh, by the time you see this video, the news will be out that uh, we do have another retail location, which is in fact Twisted Motors, where I'm headed to. Uh, they're going to be selling Moto Militant gear. Uh, this is another location here in San Diego, California. Uh, but for everybody listening, look, we're not just trying to stay in just San Diego. Uh, I'm trying to spread out everywhere, man. Uh, we got folks out in Japan who we're talking about trying to uh, become resellers and sell the gear. Uh, we got a couple uh, shops uh, on the East Coast that's talking about reselling Moto Militant gear. So if you got a shop and you're interested in so, you know being involved and partnering with us, get at me, man. We, we are definitely down for that. We're trying to get motor Militant uh, all over the place, trying to make that a household name. And, uh, you know, can't do that by ourselves. Definitely need, you know, shops and stuff all over the place to, to be a part of that movement. But, uh, yeah, that's an exciting time, man. I'm really, really hyped about that. Um, before I really get all into it, let me not forget, if you get a chance to, Go check us out at www.motomilitant.com. Also, if you're on YouTube and you're watching it right now, at the bottom of the screen, uh, right beneath this video, there should be a big red button. Go ahead and hit that and subscribe to the, the to the videos. You'll get to see more of what we're throwing out, man. Uh, definitely shoot a comment, give us a rating. You know, five stars obviously appreciate it. Let us know what you think of the shows. Um, and I'm just going to continue to push these things, man. Uh, I'm really enjoying coming out with different videos and, and just kind of, you know, venting my frustrations at times or just babbling on with you guys. So uh, if you're enjoying that, man, let me know. If you're not, you know, let me know too. But, you know, hey, that, that's what you came here for, to hear what's on my mind. So it is what it is. Um, also, you know, speaking of motor vlogs, holler at my boy, uh, Liquid Ice Moto Vlogs. Uh, who he's been showing us a lot of love this, these last couple of days. Uh, he picked up the same shirt you should be picking up right now, our brand new uh, Kings of the Street shirt. It, I, I'm really proud of that shirt. It's, 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 it's been really cool. Uh, it's also apparently being identified as the Queens of the Street shirt as well, and I'm, I'm good with that too. Ladies, if you want to grab one of those shirts up, definitely do that. Um, so, yeah, again, you can find that at motomilton.com. Uh, we just launched a new Instagram account. I'm not sure if I talked about this in the previous video because uh, actually this is the day after the previous video that you should see up on the internet right now. Um, but it'll probably have a couple days of separation due to editing. But um, we do have a new Instagram account called Insta Riders, I-N-S-T-A-R-Y-D-A-Z. So go check that out. Uh, it's basically gonna be our, our gallery of all of our 
uh, friends and writers and stuff, everybody who's who's tagging Insta writers on their on their photos. Um, that's not just Moto Militant, you know, customers and stuff. That's just cool bikes and stuff that we see. I'll just you know scan through and scour the internet, and I'll see stunners and you know kids riding and people post it up with their bikes and stuff and you know throw those up there as well but if you tag insta riders it'll definitely grab our attention so definitely check that out um what else is happening man not a whole lot i'm really just out testing the new mic setup um but you know i had to take advantage of the fact that this is a nice beautiful day uh it's thursday oh shoot i'm glad i just said that that just brought something to mind hey um we just had Armed Forces Day that just just recently passed, and now we got Memorial Day coming up. So um, I just want to say for all my brothers and sisters in uniform, if you didn't already know, I'm active duty military, been in the Navy almost 18 years now. Uh, much love and support to everybody. I don't care wherever you may be, um, if you're out on deployment, uh, if, if you're away from the family, or if you're back home, we got love for you. Uh, thank you so much for your service. Uh, and I know it sounds crazy from somebody who's serving with you, but really, um, I know that I can't come home safe every night and be with my family uh, if it wasn't for, you know, the people who were by my side, you know, to my left and my right out there serving. Uh, and right now I'm enjoying, you know, a nice cushy job of uh, teaching. So I know that not everybody's out there doing that. Somebody's out there got to take the bullets, you know. So um, thank you so much for being out there, putting your life on the line for the safety of all of us. Um, thank you for, you know, I don't care what job you're doing. If you are, if you are E1 somewhere, mopping floors real talk like whenever somebody say thank you for your service i know sometimes there's some people out there who just got the crap jobs right now working their way up or you know learning their trade or whatever we talking about you too thank you for your service um everybody's contributing out there for everybody else and i know that sounds like one of those like cheesy military posters but real talk thank you um, and I, I'm sure like if anybody gets to this particular point in the video, they'll probably be posting in the comments the same thing. So definitely uh, this would be the place to do that. You know, show your appreciation to our fellow uh, service members out there. Um, got some new gear probably going to be coming here in the near future. Uh, nothing I want to really like reveal just yet, but I do got one that I'm, uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, it, it will be both for men and women. Uh, got a couple new women's shirts that we're planning out right now. And uh, we'll, we'll start releasing, you know, putting up release dates and stuff on the website here soon. Um, prepping for Monday. I got a big event that I'm going to be a part of. Uh, ooh, that didn't sound good. Uh, oh, I'm also testing out some brand new boots. I got those Icon, um, the Heavy Duty 4s, I believe they're called. The Super Duties. The Super Duty 4s. It sounds like you, you know, dropped number two. Uh, but yeah, it's the Super Duty uh, fours, and uh, they're super comfortable. But I just, I'm still trying to break them in. So every once in a while, uh, I notice like you know they need a little bit more work. Like right now, when I just missed uh, second. So don't laugh. You know, you know you've done it before. You know you've done it before. Um, I'm also rocking their new, uh, well, the Striker vest. I've been wanting to get one for a while. Just never been able to find one in my size or find you know they're always out of stock or whatever so finally got that and uh so i'm testing those two out and that's been pretty cool i definitely like the boots they're very comfortable i like the style of them i like more of the street style boots like if i jumped up the bike and wandered around in the mall they don't look too crazy that's that's more my style um So that's what I was into. So I wanted to find something kind of like that. And I think I accomplished that with these. Man. You know, I, I ride around and I, I, I see like the mountain ranges like this, man. And I, I keep forgetting how beautiful my city is every once in a while. And uh, I'm not originally from here. I'm actually from the East Coast. I'm from Jersey. Uh, and you don't get views like this <laughs> out in Jersey. But uh, I ain't been there and in years and, and this is part of the reason why this freaking skyline is spoiling me <laughs> all this freaking weather every time my dad comes out here it's for 70 degrees and he don't want to leave <laughs> but we both gotta you know head back out to the east coast 
so at least I can get some cold and some winter and get my immune system up because as beautiful as California is y'all fools be catching colds and just dying because y'all got no immune system y'all ain't used to real seasons and stuff especially when it rain out here you can get two drops and people is out here like hydroplaning and drifting out in the highway and anybody from out here knows exactly what I'm talking about um, but then you know you also got Roscoe's chicken so you know you win some you lose some the balance of the world I, I believe that's uh, what Mufasa called the circle of life you know y'all got some pluses you got some minuses and pros and cons Roscoe's chicken and waffle is definitely a pro um, but yeah man I'm just being dumb over here uh, enjoying the rest of this ride I'm gonna go holler at my boy but in the meantime man please go check out the website uh, www.motobilitant.com come check out our new gear ladies we got some new stuff for you as well um, Instagram at Moto Militant at Insta Riders. Also, you know we got it, we're, we are on Facebook. Come holler at us there too. And um, you know, go out there and ride, man. Get get on two wheels and go and enjoy yourselves. But be safe out there, y'all. God bless. Holla. <laughs>